What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. This was released on Blu-ray by Kino Lorber, but it was originally produced by Canon Films or the Canon Group, one of my favorite uh, movie houses. This one is The Wicked Lady. Uh, this one is about an old, dried-up prune who's getting married to a young, beautiful woman, but uh, her sister shows up for the wedding, and immediately he's, like, entranced by her, and even though she doesn't seem to really have any feelings for him whatsoever, she puts on a big... Uh, you know, seduction campaign, uh, wins him over, ends up replacing her own sister in the wedding. Nobody really seems to care, even the sister. Uh, things just kind of march on. Uh, pretty soon, though, it becomes obviously clear that she has made a huge mistake, an impulsive decision just to kind of get what she wanted in the moment. Even, like, at her wedding, she notices a hot guy in the crowd and wants to pursue him, but, you know, is in a position where she can't. So very quickly, she becomes super bored with this life. You know, she's got money, but there's really nothing to do. She's used to being in the city where there's excitement. And here she's just stuck with this dry cod, and she doesn't know, you know, there's really no way to have a good time. So after she, like, starts taunting the other noble women and loses a really valuable brooch that belonged in her family for a long time in a card game to one of them, uh, she hears rumors about this highwayman that's out, you know, robbing people, and he's dashing and gallant and handsome and uh it kind of you know piques her interest but she doesn't want to so much meet the guy as she wants to be the guy and so she starts dressing up like a highwayman and she goes and robs the lady gets her brooch back and it becomes really quick clearly quickly that she's like addicted to this huge rush and thrill of being a highwayman so she continues to do it and robbing carriages and whatnot at the same time there's all this other stuff unfolding uh you know her sister that she replaced wants to leave but they won't let her leave she's having feelings she wants her the guy who was supposed to be her husband back it's just this huge like romantic circle jerk that keeps flip-flopping throughout the entire movie uh but the real story picks up whenever she meets the actual highwayman and then they spark a romance and they start robbing people together and the story just follows you know what goes on from there this is a period piece uh costume drama it's got excellent production values. The costumes are fantastic. The location is great. The cast is incredible, like Faye Dunaway, Denham Elliott, Alan Bates, uh, John Gielgud. It's an impressive assortment of people, but it's a Canon Films movie, so it has, like, sleaze and over-the-top acting. Strange stuff happens in it. Uh, there's a scene where they bust into a, a local tavern to confront the highwayman. And there are chickens coming in from every direction. Uh, the, everything will kind of come to a standstill for a moment. And then just the chicken flies on, <laughs> flies into the screen. It's really bizarre. Uh, it's got nudity throughout. It seems like it's almost on a timer. Like it's like, oh, it's been 20 minutes. Can we get a topless girl to run through? It's also got full frontal nudity. And it has an infamous scene where Faye Dunaway and the lady who played uh, Commander Troy in Star Trek have a whip fight. And the uh, Faye Dunaway whips the other girl till her dress tears off, so we're, you know she's all hanging out, and she just keeps whipping her. And I mean, it's really violent. It's a really fun scene. It's like a just a wild rough and tumble scene, but it's just got a lot of weird stuff in it. The performances are okay, but like I said, they're super over the top, very very melodramatic. Um, I'm sure if you come into this looking for a period piece, you might be kind of disappointed because it doesn't follow a lot of the like normal conventions of the genre but to me that's what makes it good um it's just a really unique movie i think it embraces the canon films way of doing things and it just to me it works i think it's a really fun crazy movie uh but again i can see why people maybe wouldn't like it if they're wanting something more kind of subtle and you know smart as opposed to just blunt and ridiculous but the, like the dialogue is fun like in a normal period piece you'd have like real subtle back and forth banter you know between the noble people so that they're careful not to openly offend each other but then still you know stick their barbs in there so the writing has to be really subtle and careful that's not the way things are here there it's just open verbal warfare which adds so much drama uh i think which i think is a good thing but like i said i can see why people don't like this but i like it a lot i think it's a really fun flick um the wicked lady on blu-ray from kino lorber uh so i just got the trailer the transfer is really solid i think it looks really good 
Um, it does have a little bit of softness in a few scenes, but I just think that's a product of, you know, the production. It's not a fault of this transfer, and I think it's probably about as good as the movie's ever going to look. Um, as far as recommending it, if you're a fan of canon films, if you're a fan of over-the-top, just wild movies, uh, don't be, you know, don't be swayed away from this because it is a period costume drama because it has a blistering pace. It's just one crazy set piece after another. It's got wild dialogue, colorful characters, crazy memorable moments. Um, but if you are wanting a subtle, smart uh, costume drama, this unfortunately is not it for you. But uh, otherwise, I think The Wicked Lady is highly recommended. Um, if you like this episode, please, or this uh, video, please do check out my website, markfusion.com. I've got a ton of other canon film reviews there, as well as other uh, horror, cult, exploitation, video games, lifetime movies, just all kinds of stuff. I'm also on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram at MarkFusion. You can follow me there and see what I've got coming up. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I really do appreciate you watching these videos. It means a lot. And uh, if you like them, please do drop a sub. If you haven't, that would greatly uh, assist me and give me a nice little uh, endorphin boost, as always. Thank you so much, and hopefully I'll see you soon.